1A South Adams at Madison Grant. I feel bad because South Adams is not going to be our, our team of the week. Oh, despite of that 25-point comeback. Not going to be our ops team of the week, unfortunately, this week for them. But, man, uh, that was one of the biggest stories last yeah, week that was. came out of Friday is to be down as much as they were on the road at a good try team. It right. wasn't a pushover team. They scored 36 unanswered to win on the road in the postseason. Uh, what is it about the South Adams team? Because they – the, the ACAC is up this year overall yeah. in terms of talent top to bottom in that conference, I think. And it's prepared them well for this yes. playoff run. Absolutely has. Talked to Coach Mosher over the weekend, and I gave him an opportunity. I asked him, you know, what did you change at halftime? He's like, I wish I could say I did something brilliant, but it really didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, pulled some trick plays out of the hat, the onside kick, the hook and ladder, and then the, the, the play they, they do out of their circus formation, getting uh, Somerset. Uh, lining up at the tackle position, going out for that touchdown. It just completely demoralized Try those three touchdowns in about a minute 20. And uh, you look ahead now, and Madison Grant is everything that Try is and was, but better. Running the ball, can South Adams stop Madison Grant? I think that's the biggest question with this one. I don't think that South Adams is necessarily going to have much trouble in terms of moving the ball. I think they can, mm -hmm. but can they get enough stops? I think Madison Grant does everything that Tri did magnified, and that's a big challenge for South Adams. Like we talked about last week, one of the things that South Adams does is throw the football. They've thrown for almost yeah. 2,000 yards, rushed for a little over 1,000 this season, and it's just rare to see it on the 1A level. And I think Tri, once they got on their heels, it yes. was like, oh, okay, we haven't seen something like this. Yeah. But to your point, Madison Grant comes in averaging 44 points a game, giving up nine? Yeah. That's pretty good. It's not bad. And their lone loss is to Mississinawa, who's playing Bishop Lewers okay. this week. So Madison Grant is a legit 1A team this year. The Argyles are, are very good in what they do. I think South Adams can have some opportunities in the passing game, like you mentioned. But Madison Grant's run game and how they command that point of attack is very, very good. And that's the biggest challenge for South Adams. Wrapping up this week, what are you most looking forward to here about sectional finals? Because it feels like we don't have as many teams as normal. Like, we've already been pared down right? a lot. Right, I know. But yeah. we do have a lot of teams facing each other from Northeast yeah. Indiana. Only 12 teams left in our area at this point, which seems low. I'd have to go back and check. It just feels low. Yeah. But it feels like the teams that we do have, specifically in 2A, 3A, 4A, are teams that could make a really long postseason run. And, of course, the people in 5A and 6A are like, <laughs> Don't forget about we us, like right? like to do that as well. About us. Well, I think I'm looking forward to, to Snyder and Carroll round two. Snyder wants to have a better performance. Carroll wants to prove that uh, the 24-point win in, in, uh, in the regular season wasn't a fluke. And I think you look at 3A and 4A in particular, who's going to emerge out of that murderous sectional 19 and then the Garrett West Noble showdown and see which one of those two can get out. And, and then hopefully once you get out of sectional, you can really make some noise and, and get down to, uh, to, to Lucas Oil over Thanksgiving weekend. So this is the, la the, the week now where every Friday we're giving away some hardware to the end of the season. All right. He is Justin Kenny. I'm Glenn Marini. We'll be back next Monday here on Inside the Zone.